the skipping ghetto. Firing, I mean, not a light, no light. It's giving ghetto. It's giving, it's giving country. It's giving country. It's giving country. hey guys welcome welcome back to vibing with and so the past couple weeks or, or months have been somewhat exhausting right i haven't been you know that active on the channel as how i want to um life has been life in right um as i said in my last video i have couple of videos that I'm editing and all of that hopefully this this one will be coming out before those um, not going to be a long video so as you can see in the description um, yeah I went ahead and I'm in the process of purchasing some some a new pet right so for the people who know me know that I love some animals i always have animals so um for several years i've reared rabbits um sold rabbits and all of that i've had a parakeet as well and i'll try to put some some pictures somewhere on the screen so i had several rabbits um i've had a parakeet um i've tried with fishes like about three or four times but you know having an aquarium in jamaica is very expensive and it was not uh, something a necessity right so i did i wasn't going to spend money to buy this big aquarium and i had to buy fields and all of that plus i wasn't knowledgeable so um more than one time i, I saw fishes um crossroads i used to live close by to crossroads in kingston and there was normally a man who normally sells some better fish and all of that so i remember i purchased from him about, about twice they didn't survive and downtown kingston there you know on king street down there where the banks are there there are some people who normally sell fishes at. the last time before i left jamaica i i, I was passing there um near my nephew and i decided you know let me buy two i don't even know the type of fish that i bought but i bought two um i think it was a pier or about three of Look at small fishes. Again, had no knowledge. I had a little aquarium. The last, that was the longest set of fish that I had. The last couple of weeks. But then, one day I came home. You know, my mom told me that they died. Or they were unalived. They were unalived. Um, but now, um, from last year, around my birthday, I, I've been contemplating. I actually wanted to, to buy a turtle. But thinking about it, mm, too much work. I think that's too much work. It's gonna be too much work. A turtle, um, maintenance for a turtle is too much. Um, so I, I put it off and I was still weighing my mind. I was thinking about a guinea pig, but again, that is too much work. Maintenance plus guinea pigs reproduce very quickly. Uh, nah, rabbits, I don't, I don't have the facility to, 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 to rear a rabbit. Um, so yeah, the other option was some fish. I think that is like the easiest thing to, to maintain. Um, so yeah, um, I went, I wanted to record this from the start, but, um, about two weeks ago, I just got up and I decided to, I've been thinking about it as I, I wanted to do it from summer when I came back from Jamaica. Now it's January and I say, you know what, for the new year. I'm going to just go ahead and do it once it is that um, I have the money to spare. So, yeah, a couple of weeks ago, I just got up and I went to the, the pet store, purchased some stuff. I did some research and I didn't even know that, you know, it, it, there were so many things that you have to do. Now, now I understand why um, my past fish died because I didn't have the knowledge. And I wasn't doing it correctly, right? So yeah, so today is the day that I'm going to go and actually get the fishes. So I, I was cycling the tanks up about the aquarium. 
so that's the aquarium right there um what 29 gallons and uh, you can see i'm a i'm a i'm gonna give a give a close-up of it so this right here is the aquarium um i'm gonna purchase the the, the life plants today and some more decoration i just do those so the so i have the the filter and the that's the heater but you know we're in the winter and all of that and we need to keep it at a particular temperature so so the tank has been cycling for for about two weeks that's what um they suggested that this the process or the nitrogen process should be complete within about two weeks and i think it is completed so as i said like i remember learning the nitrogen cycle in school and all of that um i never really put much thought in it that this is a process that happens in in an aquarium in a tank right so ammonia ammonia is gonna change to um to ni which one it's gonna change to ni nitrite and then nitrate something like that don't quote me i don't remember the order right and these different um what do you call these oh my god i'm so rusty these chemicals are these gases or whatever the nitrite the nitrate and the ammonia they are toxic to toxic to the fish right so that is the reason for cycling the tank so you have to keep run the tank for a couple of weeks um so that the good bacteria can develop right and the conversion from ammonia to nitrate and nitrite can happen right so um i have a little testing kit i tested the water and the levels of i don't know about the ammonia but the levels of the nitrate and the nitrite are in the okay level they will not be too toxic um as well as you have to condition the water so there's some stuff let me So I have to condition the water using this. This is to take out the chlorine out of the water because the chlorine is also harmful. And this is the, the my bacteria thing. They have to keep on adding to the water so that the, the whole cycle can go through and the bacteria can 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 develop. This this thing is is it smells awful. It smells awful. It is like the positive bacteria just just the buckle is closed and it's i can smell it it's it it stink it stink but it's supposed to do what it's supposed to do so this is just one this is the easier option um from research you can also just throw the food in there make it decompose and you know whatever 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 but that takes longer or if it is a case where you have a previous tank you can just squeeze the um sponge filter in the new aquarium and some of that good bacteria will you know disperse or disperse into the tank but i don't have one of that so i'm going the route of using the artificial bacteria or the bacteria starter um so as i said i feel like it's okay uh, i'm just going with the flow and just trying to learn i don't think there is much information out there as it relates to the whole process and so forth like there's not a whole lot of details so i'm just i'm just doing what i can you know yeah 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 i'm just doing what i can so yeah so um i have some errands to run but and i should go into the movies the movies is in the same vicinity as the um the store the, the uh, pet store so i will be going to the movies and then afterwards I, I intend to go to the pet store to get the fish i don't know what type of fish i'll be getting i'll bring you all along with me um i know it's some kind of small fish it's a freshwater aquarium by the way so i'm thinking i wanted some better but the betters are very aggressive i want a whole lot of fish right i want a school of fish uh if i should get a better um the better doesn't really um go um they don't get along with 
some some other fishes right so you have to it depends on the compatibility um i didn't want to look a small fish like the coffee right so i just want to get like a we yeah, about uh, 10 different fish and hopefully i can you know reproduce them <laughs> not sure how that process will go reproduce them and you know maybe start a little business who knows start selling um selling selling some fish or something because you know and the end goal need to be always about if you can make a little dough you know <laughs> yeah i'm not gonna turn that down but anyways yeah so that's pretty much it um so yeah so come along with me and swimming up right now yeah his bottom fin do you see how it's kind of a point uh like a little sword yeah that's a male okay. um the ones that this gold one kind of swimming this way how her bottom fin is a triangle yeah. uh that's a female okay okay all right um can i get like three females and two and males, two males? Yeah. yeah. Did you want to stick within just the gold, or you want me to mix the blue and the gold, or? A variation. Please. Variation? Yeah. I also want some live plant as well. Okay. Yeah. Hey guys, so I just got home. Hot man, I just got home and realized that um, the power went out or something. And because of that, the filter was running. So I just, <coughs> I'm gonna go fix that now. And uh, yeah, so I have so about three live plants. So about three live, live plants. So these two plus another one that is in a tube. So. Plus this other one right here, so three live plants. And I also bought a fish and some fish food. Some fish food. So based on the advice of the um, person who worked in the pet store, um, she was saying that seeing that the tank is new, um, we don't want a spike of nitrites and ammonia so i should start off with like a few fish until maybe a week two weeks then i can add some more so i bought yeah boom so i bought five um platy i think platy platy is the name <laughs> yes i bought these i'm gonna start with these so um you have to let them get used to the water so i'm gonna put the the bag into the, the tank for about half an hour so that they can get acclimated i think that's the word and then i'll let them out into their new home i'm also as i said before i'm going to um kind of wash off the the plants because i don't want any um to introduce any um parasite or anything like that into the tank because i've watched videos where i saw where a person say that they bought the live plants and it had baby snails and all of that on it right so i'm gonna do all of that and i'll yeah so the filter is running now so i fix back the filter set the temperature water is a bit cloudy and so on it hasn't been i'm not sure how long the filter was running but you know yeah. So I'm gonna just let it just run for a, a little minute. So guys, I think this is where I said you like it's giving ghetto. Um, it has been raining all day, and then um, then I came in and realized that the light went. And while I was here doing like cleaning up the the plants, I realized that. Uh, the right light went off again and came back and now it's gone has been about five minutes anyway um i put the i don't know if you can see but i put the plants in the 
yeah so i put one on this side one in the middle right there and this one at the end i don't even think it, it's set properly and i also have the fish um, i'm I, i'm getting them used to the water even though they Thermometer, thermometer is off, the filter is not is off because I ain't got no electricity. But yeah, I'm, I'm doing that now. <laughs> I'm gonna leave them in there. Hopefully the light will come back soon. Um, and I'll get the filter running. Just keeping my fingers crossed. Yes, this is my lamp. <laughs> keeping my fingers crossed that uh, they won't die. Anyways, I'll see you all when, when the light comes back, if it comes back. Just keeping ghetto. Far in, I'm in on a light, no light. It's giving ghetto. It's giving, it's giving country. It's giving country. It's giving country. So this, my friends, is the moment of truth. So I am going to go ahead and release the fish. It has been about an hour, an hour. I was doing something else. All right. So I'm gonna let them out now into their new home. You can see the red light on, which means that um, the heater is heating up the water to the required temperature. The place is a bit um, chilly. So let's go ahead and do that. Come out. Not sure where the other two are. I'm sure they're somewhere. They are somewhere. Not sure where, but they're somewhere. So this is. Yeah. So that is it. Um, <laughs> so it was a long day. It was a long day with the light outage and all of that. But I'm hoping that they will survive. Let's see. Um, hopefully the condition in the the tank is one in which they will survive and let's see how it goes hopefully as the months go by i plan to add some more cars as i said before this tank can hold about about 20 of those small fishes so yeah by the way thank you guys for staying to the end of this video before you go remember to like share and subscribe and stay tuned for some more content yeah so if you like this video if you want to see some more updates on the fish tank right then just leave a comment in the comment section and yeah that is it i'm out